Hey you guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, I guess I just want to share with you a new um, routine that I'm doing to for my hair. Um, I'm just going to say this, I am very lazy when it comes to doing my hair. Um, mostly because I call myself getting a mohawk and I'm trying to let that stuff grow out. Honestly, if I didn't have to hear my husband's mouth, I would just shave it all off and start all over. But because he doesn't want me to shave it off, I'm just working with what I have right now. Um, so, one thing that I've done, I evaluated like what is what my problem is with my hair. Um, because though I'm trying to grow it out, I'm trying to grow it out to like a, like a, a good length is what I'm trying to do. Because even when my hair was all the same length, my hair would grow like right here and it would stop growing. It wouldn't grow anymore. So, um, yeah. So what I've evaluated about my hair is that, um, well, like I said, once it gets a certain length, it stops growing. And then um, I do have really a really dry scalp and my hair does get really dry easily um i've so i've created something right now this is what i have created right now to make sure i keep moisture inside my hair so as long as i keep moisture inside my um in, in my hair i can minimize the breakage my hair breaking off because obviously that's what's keeping my hair from growing the length that i wanted to grow is that it keeps breaking off um also um i i don't know if you guys noticed i have lost a lot of weight 20 25 pounds so i've also like implemented like eating healthier stuff to help promote um great hair good hair growth and taking vitamins so um i want to first by start off by saying i my routine has started to where i i um shampoo my hair and deep condition it once a week um with me having really dry hair um my hair like once i shampoo it even if it's a sulfate-free shampoo, my hair is still, like, shampooing it all the time, it dries my hair out. Um, so I started off with just by doing it once a week and see how that works. If I feel like I need to do it some more, then I will do it some more. But what, for now, I'm just doing it once a week. So once I shampoo my hair, I always use a, a sulfate-free shampoo. Um, right now, because I don't feel like running up and getting it in the bathroom. Um, the shampoo that I use, I think it's called... Um, hey you guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, I guess I just want to share with you a new um, routine that I'm doing to for my hair. Um, I'm just going to say this. I am very lazy when it comes to doing my hair. Um, mostly because I call myself getting a mohawk and I'm trying to let that stuff grow out. Honestly, if I didn't have to hear my husband's mouth, I would just shave it all off and start all over. But because he doesn't want me to shave it off, I'm just working with what I have right now. Um, so, one thing that I've done, I evaluated like what is what my problem is with my hair. Um, because though I'm trying to grow it out, I'm trying to grow it out to like a, like a, a good length is what I'm trying to do. Because even when my hair was all the same length, my hair would grow like right here and it would stop growing. It wouldn't grow anymore. So, um, yeah. So what I've evaluated about my hair is that, um, well, like I said, once it gets a certain length, it stops growing. And then um, I do have really a really dry scalp and my hair does get really dry easily um i've so i've created something right now this is what i have created right now to make sure i keep moisture inside my hair so as long as i keep moisture inside my um in, in my hair i can minimize the breakage my hair breaking off because obviously that's what's keeping my hair from growing the length that i wanted to grow is that it keeps breaking off um also um i've i don't know if you guys noticed i have lost a lot of weight 20 25 pounds so i've also like implemented like eating healthier stuff to help promote um great hair good hair growth and taking vitamins so um i want to first by start off by saying i my routine has started to where i i um shampoo my hair and deep condition it once a week um with me having really dry hair um my hair like once i shampoo it 
even if it's a sulfate free shampoo my hair is still like shampooing it all the time it dries my hair out um so i'm Start it off with just by doing it once a week and see how that works. If I feel like I need to do it some more, then I will do it some more. But what, for now, I'm just doing it once a week. So once I shampoo my hair, I always use a, a sulfate-free shampoo um, right now because I don't feel like running up and getting it in the bathroom. Um, the shampoo that I use, I think it's called... Um, hold on. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab the shampoo. So the shampoo I use, um, it is called As I Am Curl Clarity Shampoo, and it is sulfate-free. It's with coconut, amla, and tangerine in it. So I use this once a week. This thing is about empty because I share with my husband, and for some odd reason, he feels like he has to wash his hair every other day, which doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, yeah, so this stuff is pretty expensive. I think I spent like $10 for this at Sally's. So this is what I use to shampoo my hair. Um, when I deep condition my hair, I use like four or five products in my head. So first off, um, what I normally do, I get a container. I have like this little bowl that I use on regularly so I can mix my conditioners. So right now, um, I'm just using one oil. There's some girls, they use like a whole bunch of different oils. I'm just using one because it, I don't know, like, and I have to do more research on it. To me, it doesn't make sense for to use like 10 different oils at the same time. Just if you're already taking vitamins, but that's just me. Anyway, so the oil that I use is Java oil. 100% um, pure moisturizing oils for skin, hair, and body. Multi it's multi-purpose oil. So I use this in my deep conditioners. So like I said, I get a bowl and I just pour it in. And then I use um, Motions Deep Condition Mask with shea butter, coconut oil, and avocado oil. So part of the reason why I don't use so many different oils because this already has oils in it, this deep conditioner. And I pour all of it. And I pour all of it in like a little bowl. And then next I use I'm missing something. Oh okay, I use moisture fuse Mazzani um, um conditioner and I mix it all together and then I put in my I get a comb and I just comb it through all my hair. I cut my hair, I slip my hair in sections because I wanna make sure it gets like from my root all the way to the edges of my hair. Um so once I do that, I let it sit for like 30 minutes, and then I wash it out. When I wash it out, um, since I've started this like routine, I've noticed that my hair is holding a lot more moisture in in it now. After it's um, after I get finished shampoo, I try I do not I try not to go without deep conditioning because I feel like once I go without deep conditioning, like my hair is just like it's done. So um, after that, once I get done like drying my hair whatever I use the leave-in conditioner repair cream I only use this while my hair is wet so while my hair is wet I put this all through my hair and then I use mega growth anti breakage strengthening growth oil in my hair and I put this on my scalp so the product that I use repeatedly throughout the week just to make sure my hair stays moisturized is this the mega growth oil and then I use Kara Care, Kara Care oil moisturizer with job oil, and I use this throughout my hair just to make sure that my hair keeps the moisture inside. So also to prevent from breakage, I um, use uh, I just put my hair in a way to where I don't have to worry about it breaking. So I, I minimize using a ponytail holder. The only time I really use a ponytail holder if I go to the gym and I need to put my hair in the ponytail while I'm working out. And if I do, you know, some girls, like, they pull out the ponytail holder. I just unravel it. That, because, I mean, it, you would, it, it makes a difference. Um, 
when I do wear my wigs, because normally, because I'm lazy, normally what I do, I just slap in the ponytail, put my wig on top. Now I just braid the hair back and then pin it and then put, if I do wear my wigs. So, um, also, which, what is very important with hair growth is what you put in your into your body. Whether you believe it or not, what you put into your body will help promote hair growth, healthy hair growth. So, um, I, I eat a lot of fruits, I drink a lot of water, I try to at least do at the minimum a half a gallon of water a day. It is a lot of water, but um, when you drink water, it, you, you feel it, like you feel the difference from not really drinking any water, drinking soda all day, to drinking um, water all day. You, you have more energy, and you, I mean your skin is healthier, it, it plays into all of that. Um, vitamins that I use. Um, right now, this is a vitamin that I just bought, and I bought this one because it has like all the all the vitamins into it, so I have to buy be taking like ten different vitamins all at the same time. But it's um, Nature's Blend Vitamins for Hair, and it's fifty capsules. I spent, I think I paid like two dollars for this, and I bought this at the grocery store. Um, and it has like um, fo folic acid, um, vitamin B12, biotin, iron, zinc. Um, whole bunch of stuff that promotes healthy